Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Miss Elaine. Tonight, we're reading a book called Gorilla Loves Vanilla, and I'm dedicating it to my friend Lincoln up in Michigan, who I know loves animals and loves ice cream, so I thought this book would be perfect. It's written by Che Strathy. If you take a walk down Jelly Bean Street, there's a wonderful place you can go for a treat. A fabulous store full of yummy ice cream, the kind of ice cream that makes everyone beam. Where is the ice cream store on this block? Oh, there it is, Sam's Sundays. Sounds like a yummy place, doesn't it? Little Sam Sunday is known as the king of cones and wafers and flavors that zing. And one sunny day, as Sam opened the store, five hungry animals dashed through the door. First in line was a mouse who squeaked, please, may I have a sundae that tastes of blue cheese? Now that might sound scrumptious to little gray mice, but none of the others thought cheese ice was nice. It sounded quite stinky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up cheesy ice cream in a wink. Ew, blue cheese ice cream. What do you think, boys and girls? I love blue cheese and I love ice cream, but I don't think I would try blue cheese flavored ice cream. However, it's perfect for little gray mouse. Next to step up was a sea captain's cat with whiskery cheeks and a white sailor's hat. My favorite, he said, is a sailing cat's wish. Bring me fish finger ice cream in a dish. <laughs> it sounded quite yucky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up fishy ice cream in a wink. Yeah, fishy ice cream. That's what cat wants. The chicken said, I'll have a cone full of worms. I like nothing more than an ice cream that squirms. It's funny the way that it wriggles and jiggles. It tickles my beak and it gives me the giggles. Cluck, cluck. It sounded too squirmy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up wormy ice cream in a wink. Wormy ice cream. Okay, so who got served? Mouse has been served. Cat has been served. The chicken just ordered. Who's next? Let's find out. The flavor the cow chose was daisies and grass, sprinkled with dandelions in a tall glass. It's simply amusing, she gleefully cheered, but all of her friends thought her flavor was weird. It sounded revolting, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up daisy ice cream in a wink. There it is in a nice tall Sunday glass. The hippo stomped up with a thump and a thud and asked for a cone filled with mountains of mud. I don't want to eat it, he said with a laugh. I'm going to jump in and have a nice bath. <laughs> it sounded quite messy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up muddy ice cream in a wink. Oh, poor Sam's going to have a big mess to clean up in his store, isn't he? but he certainly knows how to make his customers happy. Huh, customer satisfaction guaranteed. The animals sang, Little Sam, you're the best. You've managed to rustle up every request. Then came a voice calling, What about mine? A gorilla was there at the end of the line. Oh, what will the gorilla want, I wonder? Hmm, do you have any guesses, boys and girls? Those are good guesses. Hmm, let's keep reading to find out. I don't want fish fingers of worms as a filler. Just give me a cone full of good old vanilla. The others agreed that they'd all been too hasty. None of their flavors seemed nearly as tasty. Sam served a cone that was everyone's dream, scoop upon scoop of amazing ice cream. He topped it with sprinkles and milk chocolate chips. The sticky fudge sauce made all of them lick their lips. The animals gasped. They couldn't help staring. And lucky for them, gorillas love sharing. Oh, 
How nice of Gorilla. Look, he has six spoons, seven spoons in his hand. So there is enough for everyone. Good thing, because let's go back and take a look. That is one gigantic ice cream sundae, wouldn't you say? But it sure does look delicious. This book has made me hungry, boys and girls. Mmm. There they are, all digging in. I love that even Sam is having some too. The end. All right, Lincoln, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope all of my friends at home enjoyed that one. Gorilla loves vanilla. Perhaps it's made you hungry for some ice cream too. Let's go ahead and sing our two lullabies, friends. We'll sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, followed by God Bless the Moon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Now let's sing our short little moon lullaby. I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. And God bless you all at home. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon on 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Missy Lane. Good night.